Hello, hello. So, um, just another edition of the the interracial dating. We're going to follow up with this video today. Um, about the reality of interracial dating. I've gotten a lot of comments, a lot of feedback from my first video, which had over 500 views. Um, that's amazing. Um, and I appreciate people who shared it. Um, this is the reality. I mean, it's just, that was just me being raw and, and sharing the reality of what interracial couples go through. Um, I did get a few negative uh, comments and messages, but um, yeah, whatever, haters gonna hate. So just to follow up from that video, um, cause I don't only wanna focus on the negative when it comes to interracial dating is, um, so I just wanna follow up with a story that happened, uh, what was it? it was yesterday. So, you know, we went out to breakfast um, at Crackle Barrel and, um, you know, just a normal breakfast, whatever. So we're sitting there and the, t the couple that sit out next to us, um, you know, we're kind of looking, whatever. We're the only ra interracial couple there that I could tell from when we walked through to our seat. So no big deal. People stare all the time. So at one point while I'm eating though, I feel this, I feel like someone's staring at me. You know how you get that feeling where someone's like actually just staring at you. You just feel it. And so I look up and the guy that had sat down next to us was literally just locked on with me and I was just kind of I kind of looked at him and we kind of held the same gaze for like 10 15 seconds right really awkward I went back to my food not gonna make a big deal about it I was just like whatever dude I don't have time for this so um, his son was adorable though um, so then you know it, it, that happens all the time you know who cares so then we go to Walmart to go uh, grocery shop for the week we, we do this every weekend and um, uh, so we're in line and we're just being our normal goofy selves. We're arguing over how much the bill is gonna be and um, you know, we're guessing how much it's gonna be because we always spend way too much money on groceries. I don't know why, it's only two of us. But um, you know, so we're in line, we're arguing around like, okay, if I'm closer on my guess, then you have to buy lunch and vice versa, right? And so um, Damon like reaches in to give me a kiss and I turn my face and so he acts like he's gonna bite my cheek. So the lady behind us, it was an older black lady, um, she goes, could y'all just get a room? <laughs> my first reaction, I turned around because I was like, you know, this could go either way. <laughs> and so I turn around and she starts laughing. And so I was like, okay, like she meant it as a joke. Um, which is funny because you would think that the older couples, um, black and white, are the ones that have issues with us. It's not. It's the ones that are more our age. Isn't that freaking weird? Like my 85 year old grandmother loves Damon, loves my fiance. And I'm like, you would think that of all people, she would probably have the problem with it because of how she grew up. And I don't know why it is, but it seems like more so um, it's people our age. I'm, how old am I? I'm gonna be 29 in like two weeks. Uh, my fiance is 32. So it's more people our age that have an issue with the interracial dating. But anyways, so this older lady is behind us and she's laughing and you know now we're laughing and we're just kind of being our normal goofy selves that we are and then she starts talking to us and um she's like you know uh, i forget how it came up but she says something about how good men are hard to find and i said yes they are i said i actually i moved up here um to be with him um from houston texas i was like so that tells you how good of a man he is i was like and now we're getting married next year and she was like oh my gosh and so she got she got goosebumps all over her body because she was just so happy uh, with you know my little story that I was telling her like literally she showed me she had goosebumps and so we were talking about the wedding and she was like oh I, I see this y'all are gonna be y'all are gonna be so happy you're gonna have like four kids I said whoa 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 I don't know about four kids but you know probably like two or three I was like wedding first and um, she was like y'all are just so sweet y'all can you know I can just see the love in your relationship and you know y'all are just gonna last forever and I was like so we walked away, we were laughing, right? All the way to the car about this older lady. She kind of actually reminds me of my grandma. Um, but, um, and I'm just like, this older lady who has never met us before can see how much love we have in our relationship and how much fun we have in our relationship. And she's so excited that we're getting married and gonna have kids. And then you have haters who just wanna stare at you like you're doing something wrong. Like, why? 
So, <laughs> you know, I don't get it, but I just wanted to share that story with y'all as a follow-up for my last video that, um, you know, you take the good with the bad and, and usually the, the good outweighs the bad. And yesterday was just a really cool little um, story that I wanted to share with people because this lady was just so sweet. She was just so happy and so excited that we were gonna get married um, and have babies and that, you know, I had gotten a good man regardless of what color he was. So, um, just wanna share that with y'all. Y'all have a great day.